bless you god bless you thank you for watching this uh, broadcast may the good lord rich bless you there are certain things reserved for the thirsty there are certain things reserved for people who hunger spiritually blessed are they that thirst and hunger for righteousness for they shall be filled he that thirst let him come and drink so there is an invitation that we face. if we thirst for more we can go to god and receive more uh, spiritually speaking the manifestation of god is originally designed to be a progressive spiritual transition from glory to glory paul said we move from glory to glory if there is such kind of a thing as moving from glory to glory then we should not be we should not be satisfied with a level of glory that we are accessing at the moment we should desire we should desire to access deeper realms of glory the level of, the level of revelation a man has about god is directly proportional to the level or dimension of glory he can be elevated into Moses is a good example of how a man can provoke the glory of God into manifestation as he sincerely wanted to behold the Lord's glory. Hence, he desperately asked God to allow him to see him because he had a better understanding of what that meant than most ordinary people today do. Apostle Peter attests to the divine truth that God has called us to glory and virtue. That is in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. God intended men and women to live and walk in glory and be carriers of his glory. Hence, as far as God is concerned, the glory is our birthright and an irrevocable inheritance of every believer. There are two key areas in which the word glory is used in the Bible. <clears throat> in one context, it is used to refer to the attributes, nature, character and virtues of God. In different contexts, it is used to refer to the tangible, visible manifestation of the Shekinah presence in the natural realm. Exodus chapter 34 verse 5 was the answer to Exodus 33 verse 18 when Moses said to the Lord, Please show me your glory. He was so hungry and craving for the glory of God that he pleaded, God, please show me your glory. Then God answered him in chapter 34 verse 5 of exodus the the lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the lord and the lord passed before him and proclaimed the lord god merciful and gracious long suffering and abounding in goodness and truth keeping mercy for thousands forgiving iniquities and transgression and sin by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. In view of the above, when God came down the mountain, his glory was manifested and he proclaimed the name of the Lord. When we want to access something higher in the spiritual realm, we have to thirst, we have to hunger. John D. Lake said the hunger, spiritual hunger is key to accessing higher dimensions of God. John D. Lake had thirsted for the glory of God and he accessed the high dimensions of the glory of God. The Bible says thirst and hunger. Let him, he that thirst and hunger come and you will drink. If you thirst, you will drink. If you, are hung, if you are hungry, you shall be filled. There is an invitation. Let us thirst for more. There is more. There is more. There is more. We need to move from one level of glory to another. We need to upgrade. We need to be updated in the name of Jesus Christ. May God richly bless you as you pursue for more and more of his glory. 